Greenfield's a little bit unique for the fact that they transport everything to the treatment plant. There are no other overflow points out there on the collection system. We had a heavy rain, we had to report an overflow. And we were like the number one in the state for polluters. And it wasn't that we were doing a bad job because the plant runs well, but still the system was just, it was just, we just couldn't pump enough, couldn't handle it. Uh, we were looking at everything. What could we do? And every solution seemed to be build a big pond system. My problem with that was, even if we did build a pond big enough, we still have to fight to pump all that down, clean all that up, and it was just, it was, it was just something that was, really didn't help a whole heck of a lot. And basically there was only really one process that was out there that would fit all those goals and needs. Actiflow is kind of a unique process. It's a high rate clarification process that originally started in the water treatment industry. It's really came from drinking water treatment and because of its efficiency to stop and start and have a small footprint, it was applied to wastewater or combined sewers. It's a chemical, physical, high rate clarification process that's pretty simple but yet amazingly efficient. You're using coagulant aids, a couple chemicals which would include could be alum or ferric chloride as a preconditioning. And you add a, a polymer and the other key ingredient is the micro sand which adds the ballast part to the process. So basically you're getting the solids conglomerating into a larger particle that's higher, higher density so it settles really quickly. It was amazing how the guys picked it up within just a, you know, a couple of rainstorms. They, if it's a little weird or looking a little weird, they can go, they know how to adjust it. There's three or four adjustments. When it comes down to it, it's, it's a chemical and a physical process that um, operators can make it work even if, even if computer systems are down. So uh, it's, it's just a neat, neat system that works well. We found out with that system we can treat 12 million gallons a day. It started off 8 million gallons a day and they were able to adjust the weirs in it and come up with 12 million gallons a day and it's, when it's ready, boom, it kicks on automatically. And we don't have any ponds to mess with, we don't have any cleanup afterwards out in, the, out in the system. The normal storm when we're getting hammered with a lot of rain, the flow is split automatically so that six million gallons a day go to the biological process and that just goes like it would any other day. Anything over six million goes to the active flow process. With those two processes running parallel, they're able to handle the uh, peak wet weather flows and still meet their 10-10 NPDS permit limits, even with excessive high wet weather flows that they do see here. The water that left the active flow was, it was incredibly clean. It met our, all of our IDEN permits without having you know any filters on or anything. It just did an excellent job. It's kind of a, like a lifesaver for the city. Some of my guys like to fish, and they, there's a nice pond downstream that they go fishing in, and they used to have a lot of debris in there from the plant and flood outs, and now they just don't see that. It's doing an excellent job for the environment. I just don't know of any other system out there that, that even comes close to the capabilities of what that does. Mm -hmm.